Jawan Freeman says after he started dating the defendant, he encouraged her to pursue her singing career. But he claims the first time he missed one of her concerts, she spent the night at a friend's house and ignored his calls. He's suing her today for breach of contract and legal fees. Defendant Angelica Rodriguez says four months after she started performing again, her relationship with Juwan became rocky because he started neglecting her. And then he tried to propose to her with his ex-girlfriend's ring. She's countersuing for unpaid rent. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. Go right ahead. How you doing, Judge? Um, I met Angelica over Facebook dating. Um, we started, you know, starting to date, started to develop a relationship. Over time, you know, I was doing nice things for her, buying her flowers, you know, taking her on nice dates, took her on a few trips. Um, as we continue to, you know, I encourage her to, you know, kind of pursue her music career. Um, so she started to sing, go to, started to do little events. So the first event I couldn't make it to, um, you know, I called Angelica and she said she was home, but then she wasn't home. So I went to her house and I'm just like, hey, you say you home, where you at? So she's like, I'm at home. I was like, well, come to the door then. And she was like, well, what are you doing? I was like, I'm at your house. I'm going to take you to breakfast. You know, this is the first event I couldn't make. Where you at? She was like, oh, well, I'm not home. Over Drake's. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Yeah, I was like, oh, she's like, I'm not home. I had to go, <laughs> I had to go and take my daughter to get her hair done. I'm like, well, when did that happen? Because I've been at your house waiting for you because, you know, I was trying to surprise you. So after a few minutes, now, you know, I was calling her phone. She wasn't answering my calls. And because we, you know, wasn't nearly close as we wanted to be, you know, as far as like living, we used to FaceTime all the time. So she didn't answer my call. So I'm like, why is she not answering my call? So I pulled a little, you know, little something out of the trick book. So I called her from a separate phone and I called her business line. Little to behold, Angelica answered the phone. Hello? And I'm like, hey, where you at? And she she was like, oh, I'm on my I'm I'm on my way to, you know, get my daughter's she hair. She started like that? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm oh, like, yeah. okay. She was like, well, what are you doing? And I'm like, why did you even question me? Like, this is not even a problem. Like, we've been kicking it hard for, like, the last few months. Come to find out, she finally admitted that she spent the night at a friend's house. Great. And she was like, oh, well, I slept on the couch. Drake? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, I've been right all <laughs> along. Probably the lover boy. <laughs> what yeah. city? What city you all in? Oh, in Houston. All right, go ahead. Lou behold, like, she wound up, you know, admitting that she stayed at someone's house overnight. And it was the first time I wasn't able to, you know, go to one of her events. And this happened. So we continue. I was like, you know what? I'm not going, you know, maybe it's just not, her, you know, I'm not going to discredit her character. Maybe she did. Maybe she was just too tired because she complained that it was a long drive home. But I allow her. I said, you know what? Maybe we can still make it through this. Well, everything continued just fine until I, you know, start saying I only got something on it. And what that meant was, you know, I, I wasn't fronting the whole bill anymore. You know, when it was time for rent due, I you said, well. tell me what something on it means? Something on it. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, well, what are you doing? And I'm like, why did you even question me? Like, this is not even a problem. Like, we've been kicking it hard for like the last few months. And come to find out, she finally admitted that she spent the night at a friend's house. And she was like, oh, well, I slept on the couch. Drake? <laughs> he say, see, I've been right all along. Plaintiff Jawan Freeman is suing his ex-girlfriend, who claims after Jawan started neglecting her, he tried to propose to her with his ex-girlfriend's ring. Let me hear from you, ma'am. He didn't insult me now. How you doing, Judge? Well, I said, you got what you got on it. You put something on it, or you got something on it. And that means... <laughs> go ahead. He was talking to me. I invented that phrase, probably. Right. <laughs> uh, go ahead. How you doing, Just He started off right, but he missed a lot um, up to that point leading where I was not home. I was not home. 
um, but leading up to that point, there's a reason. So he was telling the truth. We did meet on Facebook dating. Uh, we conversated a couple of days. When I found out that he was a licensed masseuse, I asked him to come over and give me a massage. He did that. I paid for his services. After that, we continued a phone conversation. We decided to talk about dating and possibly get in a relationship. I asked Mr. Freeman um, to not let us have sex in the beginning because I didn't want it to complicate things versus getting to know each other. So of course that didn't happen. Three days after we had sex, he told me he loved me, okay? I told him that I was not in love yet. I wanted to be honest with Mr. Freeman. So down the line, we started going out. Um, Mr. Freeman had full access to my house full access to me. Really? How did that go when you he had the key? and Every, um, Everything everything went well. After 30 days passed, I started asking him to start contributing to um, the household. Um, that became an issue. Oh, well, I just stay at home. Okay, that's fine. You know, um, we were in love at that point um, when all of that was going on. How long? Maybe about 30 days within the relationship. About four weeks later, I did tell him that I loved him. And three it, days everything, it was too early, but three more right, weeks. Three, three, I, and I understand. I, I can't judge him on how he felt, but I knew that I I'm was saying not in love. three yet. weeks is not any time either. Go ahead. Yes, everything went really fast. Um, he did tell me long down the line that I should get back on stage. So I did that. It wasn't until I was singing about four months, maybe three, four months, he started acting funny with me, started neglecting me at shows. He would come, pull up like he wasn't there. It was like, if you're gonna be here, be here, you know, to support me and all of that. So oh, I started getting fed up because I was getting neglected from my boyfriend who I loved. And when he started neglecting me, I had a show in Galveston, did not feel like driving all the way home. And I did spend a night at a friend's house. But when he, by that time, I was practically, you know, our relationship was really rocky because I'm like, at that point, I'm like, I'm trying with you and I'm, I'm trying to pour my heart out and see what's going on with you. And I'm telling him what he's doing, but he wasn't in agreement. Tell me some examples of what you're referring to. So, um, like when he would come to the show, it was always ignoring me, just standing around, not... Uh, talking to anybody and people knew him, knew who he was. If they, if you were with me, people knew who you were. Then backstage, he was a loner. What, I mean, yeah, so like I had asked him to watch my purse while I was on stage. Right. He's outside on the phone. Purse just sitting there by the bar, unattended. You know, it was stuff like that. But in the beginning, he was there sitting there, with, you know, by my purse, with, had no issues recording my performances. And then he started neglecting me. Like I didn't exist. So anything to say about that? Judge, the I came to so the first three shows I came to, the the fourth show was the one that she had in Galveston and that I didn't make it to. And that's when things like the I first And when you did come, you weren't supportive of her. Right. That's he, what I'm asking you, I was you want to respond to. Judge, I was very supportive. I was there. I was standing there. I just wasn't into, you know, mingling with... Why you with... carry that purse? Judge, <laughs> I could see that purse. And she had other people he there as outside. well. I wasn't the only person yeah. that she invited. Purse. And, and before he would... Then you had some heels you needed. Listen, before Somebody he would wear, cater... Yes, sir. Give them heels. He did Put all of heels that. On. He did that all purse. of that. He catered. He carried the person One hundred percent. Yes, sir. It's the small things. I used to tell him all the time. I ask. I don't ask for nothing big. Everything I ask. I sound like some small. freaky things, Dad. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> 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 I had asked him to watch my purse while I was on stage. Right. He's outside on the phone. Purse just sitting there by the bar unattended. You know, it was stuff like that. But in the beginning, he was there sitting there, with, you know, by my purse, we had no issues recording my performances. And then he started neglecting me like I didn't exist. Plaintiff Jawan Freeman is suing his ex-girlfriend, who claims after Jawan started neglecting her, he tried to propose to her with his ex-girlfriend's ring. She said when you were there last time or two, you show no support. Right. You just ignore her, you act like, you know, if your partner or your better half or other half is at a show that, at somewhere you're performing and you don't pay them any attention, that's insulting. Part of their performance is inspired by you, I hope. 
I, that's the reason why I got on stage. Uh -huh. He told me. <laughs> he told me to. Judge me, I speak. Yes. At this particular event that she's talking about, she actually had two other male companions, well, not companions, associates that were also there. By that time, our relationship was rocky. He was neglectful. He he neglected me. So now you want to pump up. He was coming, man. No. No, no, sir, I did he not. He came to the show unexpectedly. He came to the show unexpectedly yeah. because he, by that time, our relationship okay. was very rocky. We're so. talking about, give him specifically what the date and time you're referring to or the venue or the event because he's playing crazy. So. It's his fault, the reason why I did not answer my phone. It's his fault, the reason why I did not come home that night from Galveston. Like, it's his fault. So I don't understand why he's acting like He's not the cause of me not coming home. Yeah, our relationship was done. Sir, if she loves you and you're her man, this is your woman, that's very disheartening. Right. And she and I needs that support. support. She yeah. needs to be able to feel that she's succeeding. Yeah. And if nobody else can tell her she's succeeding, you should, even if it's a lie. You may not think she can sing at all, but you better not tell her that. <laughs> At one point, he was my number one fan, but then he started tripping, and our relationship was going downhill, and That's I did everything wow. in my power to try to make the relationship work. I belittled myself to try to say, okay, well, what, it, what is it that I'm doing when I'm giving you full access of me and my life? And I felt like I done, I did way too much in the beginning, even trying to make him feel appreciated and everything. I was doing a lot to the point where my family is like, what is wrong with you? But I was in love with Mr. Friedman. I was willing to marry Mr. Friedman, but he ended up giving me a ring for, from his ex-girlfriend. Mm, right after wow. we got my ring finger sized in Florida. Then he pops up with a ring pulled out of his backpack trying to put it on my finger. No respect. How no, you it, someone else, for someone else? For somewhere else, it stopped right here at my knuckle. Was that ring from another woman? No, it wasn't. It was from a previous was relationship a he was with was two years ring, ago. Yonah. Yes, it, it was. Brand was new ring. And it did not stop with her knuckle. I don't believe you that. That you no. pulled out of a backpack. It was a brand new ring. No receipt. No nothing. No box. You just put it you out your backpack. The woman That's a great receipt. proposal. Who gives the receipt? But is that a great proposal just to pull a ring splat out of a backpack? I wasn't proposing. <laughs> so what you put the ring on my finger for? And then it was too small. It wasn't too small. It wasn't too small. Now you're really perfect. talking crazy. Yeah, You put an perfect. engagement ring right. on her finger and you weren't proposing. It was... Set up to be like a promise ring. And that's what, because we had already talked about, you know, getting together and she described what type of ring you want. And she said the ring was beautiful. It was, but it was too small and it wasn't mine. I had to tell him like, the ring is beautiful, but like, it wasn't for me and it wasn't, you didn't buy it for me. It was too small. And we just sized he my just ring prior in he Florida. He just got the size wrong or the jeweler may have gotten it wrong. I don't believe he's that low. I just don't. I don't know, though. You won't support your woman when she's there and trying to come up. And this is she wants to impress you as well. When my wife, Linda, comes sit in the audience, I need to feel this positive vibe from her because she means something to me. Right. If she didn't mean anything to me, I wouldn't care. You can come look crazy at me. You don't have to give me a positive vibe. Nothing. All right. You my wife. Fine. Whatever. I don't care. Let me do my thing. No, you're my wife. I want to impress you. And I want you to show me support. And I know that to be the case with most people, because I believe her. At least on one of those occasions, you did that. And that's a lack of respect and dignity to be at your woman's show. You haven't been to a whole lot of them because she hasn't had a whole lot of them. And you outside on the phone doing everything but showing her support. So she look in the audience. I look in the audience now sometimes just for friendly faces. I don't know though, you won't support your woman when she's there and trying to come up. And this is, she wants to impress you as well. When my wife Linda comes sit in the audience, I need to feel this positive vibe from her. Cause she means something to me. Right. Plaintiff Jawan Freeman is suing his ex-girlfriend who claims after Jawan started neglecting her, he tried to propose to her with his ex-girlfriend's ring. All right, $2,377 foot breach and legal fees. Um, 
I have some um, some evidence. We had created a uh, a promissory note. <clears throat> about what though? Tell um, me about the loans or whatever well, the fees result from. So again, Miss Rodriguez was going through her business, and her business, you know, had a tough time. So her account got hacked. And instead of, you know, allowing her to go and get like a payday loan, which had like 1400% interest, I was like, you know, I have the cash available. You know, you can just borrow from me and just pay me back. You know, no interest, just pay me my money back. And she agreed. And I said, you know, we can have a promissory note and, you know, we'll write it up and then you could just pay me. I'll give you some time to pay. Gave her six months to pay. I said, well, I said, you'll pay me back January 1st. She was like, all right. And I, she signed it. When did you guys break up? Officially broke up in September. Okay, and when was the promissory note signed? The promissory note was signed in July. July, July 21 signed. So you all were together and everything was fine. We were breaking up. It was the only reason why he pulled out the promissory okay. note. And he told me it, he wasn't leaving my house until I signed the promissory note that did he wrote out that? at my table. Did you tell him that? Yes, sir. Okay. He was like, oh, well, we need to write out this promissory note because you owe me money. And so I signed it so he can leave. You didn't borrow any of it? Is that what you're saying? No, No, it was given. We All were in a relationship. Yeah. He gave that money to me. He didn't start that, oh, pay me back stuff until I told him I was done because I wasn't trying to go through any the odds and ends with Mr. For Brady. the money before July. No. That's what I'm asking him. I don't have any written evidence. Do you have any evidence at all where she says, I'm going to repay you? Other than the promissory yes. note, um, I don't have any evidence. He don't. Okay. And can I add something? Because uh, you have admitted it was under duress. Right, can Go I ahead. add something? I do have evidence of us having a conversation in January. In December, December 3rd of 2021, um, I asked Mr. Freeman, would he like to go to a concert? We went to a 90s concert together, me thinking that we can rekindle whatever it was that we had. Maybe let's just see, this is our last straw. Let's see what, what may happen. Went to the concert, Mr. Freeman walked in, we holding hands like everything is good. And then he falls asleep in the concert. And I have video of that. And then after that, we didn't speak to each other anymore until January, which I have here. Um, the conversations of he missed me, he's looking at videos, reminiscing of relationships, miss you, us going well. back in. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, and I'm telling him I miss him as well. Just going back and forth, reminiscing. Um, I invited him to my house. We had a conversation. We were intimate. And then two days later, I was served papers. Not one time did wow, Mr. Freeman- Wow, served papers about the yes, sir. lawsuit today. Yes, sir. Not one time did Mr. Freeman come to me and say, hey, Let's talk about this money. Let's talk about anything. You just go, like you've been begging for the money all this time, and you just go to the courts and file right after you just left my house. Sure, is that true? Sir, that's not completely true. That is good. I, I have contacted Ms. Rodriguez prior to this promissory note, and she is the one who stated that she will pay me back by January 1st. She said, I'm not going to get, I've asked for, the, I asked for the money on a number of different times. She said, well, I'm not going to give you the, I said, I'll take payments because I know you don't have the whole 2000. She said, well, I'm not gonna you give you no, she said, I'm not gonna give you any money in payments. I'm gonna give you the whole thing just like you gave it to me. I said, well, you never have it. She said, I'm gonna pay you when I get my income tax. Income mm -hmm. tax come, I and I never got anything. So I'm like, okay, well, now you already this know. Before or after you went to the concert and got intimate? This is before. So all this, what you're referring to went away? when you went to the concert and a few days later became intimate with her or? We only, no, sir. Mm -hmm. We only no, had sir. one conversation, which is when I told him the first time that I was done, mm -hmm. that's when all of this come out. Oh, you owe me money, you owe this. Now, if we owing money, then I need the money back that I spent on Mr. Friedman for Father's Day, the trip to Colorado that I took him on. So it's like, since now, we're talking about- giving somebody cash thousands of dollars at one time. I That's get it. That's a lot different. I get it, but he wasn't talking that until I said that I was done. Plaintiff Jawan Freeman is suing his ex-girlfriend, who claims after Jawan started neglecting her, he tried to propose to her with his ex-girlfriend's ring. When is the first time, once again, you heard him mention you owed money? What month and year? 
that was the day that I told, that was in July, when I told him that I was done. First time. First time, and that's that when he made time? the promissory no, note. When had you mentioned it earlier? Prior the first to time, that. first time it actually, when we were still actually in a good relationship, um, she received some money from the IRS and she opened up uh, a Navy Federal account with the check that she got. She's like, oh, here's your money right here. I can just give it to you right now. And I was like, okay, well, you know, whenever you're ready, just when was that? This was month, season. No, no, no. Year. This was a um this was a month. This was within a month after I loaned her the money. So I can easily she could have easily paid me back right away. And she chose not to. <clears throat> and I don't know where the money when went. When the next time you asked then? The next time I asked was maybe about three months later when I was actually asking about the payments. I was like, Well, you can just pay me in payments. And she was like, Well, I'm not gonna pay you in payments. I'm gonna give it to you. When and fool like you gave it to me, I'm like you're never gonna have it because you're you've been scratching and scrambling for money. And even when we went to Colorado, even when we went to Colorado, we were supposed to get a rental car. She couldn't pay for the rental car. I wound up having to pay for, pay for that. And she was like, "Oh, I'm gonna pay you back." Never seen that money. She said, "Where did you expect to get it back from?" She was working full time. She was working full time doing her last business. And even when we came to this agreement, when I initially let her borrow the money. She said, I'm going to pay. She said, I make about $200 per client. I'm going to pay you $100 out of that money every time I do, you know, a set of bribes. And I was like, okay, well, that sounds reasonable. You'll be able to pay me back in no time. But then she continued to get in financial struggles. At one time, she couldn't make her rent at her business. And she was about to lose the whole business. I was like, you know what? This right here, the $300 for this is a gift. I said, I'm giving you that. That is a $300 pay your rent for your business. I don't expect that back. I've paid her a full rent before. Oh, I've also gave her um, half of her rent before. He never paid anything in full. Problem you have, sir, even if all you say is true, I can't validate an illegal act. You committed three crimes by your own admission. Unlawful detainment, wouldn't let her go. Duress, forcing her to sign something, otherwise you're not leaving. And that's also considered extortion. When you won't do something until another person does something, that's extortion. Not necessarily, it doesn't have to be taking from each other, just making somebody do something in fear of harm, however that harm might come. Financial harm, I'm not leaving your house harm, whatever the case may be. And you did that. So I can't enforce an illegal act. So I'm going to have to dismiss it on the terms that the process of getting the promissory note was illegal. And everything that follows that is illegal. And so therefore your claim is dismissed. Never detain a person from leaving. Do what you did ultimately, and that is bring them to court. When you said, I'm not leaving until you sign that, you committed three crimes. All right, let's get to the rent. This is your counterclaim, ma'am. So we have a business called Unbreakable. We started the business together. The agreement was to break everything in you half. You have evidence of that? Um, the only thing I have was how much the rent was that I'm asking from Do him. Do you have evidence that he agreed to pay? Of the... Anything, anything. Uh, no, I don't have my LLC. All right, and you, do you agree you agreed? Well, I don't agree with the fact that... How much you agree you owe her? Do you I don't agree, with, I don't well, owe her man, anything. that's all I'm asking, so we didn't, we didn't have, have a good a, day, uh, that's I'll my judgment. Anything. You don't have evidence, he denies, your claim is dismissed for engaging in a criminal act to extort her. Angelica, you know I let you borrow that money. And you even said you knew I, you know I let you borrow that money. And the fact that you said it was given to you as a gift was, was. a complete lie. It was. 